Welcome back, everybody, to Raleigh, North Carolina for the Monster Truck Challenge. Our guest this week, back on his feet, Dennis Anderson from Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. Tell me about the truck, because obviously it looks great. It's a new truck, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'll tell you, I've been out, uh, I've been out and uh, ran about six weeks with it, and it was uh, more or less like an exhibition deals that I was doing. It was testing the truck and dialing it in, and uh, we've got the truck pretty much dialed in now. So you've had a chance to see what it would behave like, and now you're ready to, I guess, tackle the big boys, huh? Right. You know, this is their, uh, this is their point series, and uh, these races, all my races are serious, but this is really a super serious race for me here. This sport has gotten so competitive over the last few years that you really can't predict, well, this truck is going to do well this year, this is going to do well this year. The, the, the variables in this sport have completely changed, haven't they? It really has, you know, the, just the design of the trucks, uh, all of our rules and regulations, you know, everything has changed and, it's, and it is. It's really a super competitive sport now. Where do you see this sport going? What, where is the future going to take this sport? I tell you, it's, it's going to come down to, uh, I, I feel like it will come down to something like NHRA drag racing, and which it's almost there in my book. It's there now, you know, but uh, it's, it's going to really, it's, we just, we're going to get a lot of exposure with it. These guys are really getting really technical with the trucks. It used to be that you just put this big piece of iron together and come out and let's crush cars. Well, it's not like that anymore. I mean, we're still using the cars to crush with because it's a monster truck, but these are real true blue racers now. Yeah, these things are going to have wings and fly here before long. Yeah, you aren't kidding about that now. We're getting them light, you know, and uh, we've got a weight restriction right now, you know, but uh, these trucks are really light. They're fast, but they're good trucks. Listen, take care of that leg, too. No more adventures. Okay. Dennis Anderson, Kill Devil Hills, and of course the truck, as you know, is the Grave Digger. Now, when we come back, we'll see how he does when Monster Truck Challenge continues from Raleigh, North Carolina, in just a moment. I got the job. Oh, wonderful. Oh, yeah. So, uh, who told you about the National Business Employment Weekly? Who told you it has hundreds of high-paying jobs open all across the country? Professional, technical, managerial? I thought I told you about it. How the articles help you get a job. Write sharper resumes. Have better interviews. No, no, no. I told you, remember? How to get along with your boss, get a raise, get promoted. Mm, let me see. You told me about the great jobs in the National Business Employment Weekly. And the help in landing them. And doing... Welcome back, everybody, to Raleigh. Great crowd tonight, and it should be. This is great monster truck action. And a surprise now as we hit the semifinals. Keystone has a bad tire. That puts Equalizer back in the semifinals, and Equalizer has to tangle with Gravedigger. Not an enviable task. Let's go trackside. Here's the voice of Monster Truck Challenge. Here's Joe Lowe. Thank you, Ken Brew. And here's the guy who had the tough break already tonight. He's Dan Patrick, drives Keystone Cruncher, and he had a great run as he defeated the Equalizer. But things happen. Tire problem, and Jim Clark caught up with him. Dan Patrick, uh, misfortune came your way. What happened? Well, in the last round, we must have pinched the O-ring in the back rim, and when I backed up and, and went to turn the truck around to line up, it pinched it again and just blew the ring out, so we lost all the air. And uh, we usually carry plenty of parts, everything you need to fix a truck, but we just didn't have the time to repair this. All right. Well, sorry to hear it, and uh, better luck next time. Hey, that's racing. You know, some nights you don't get the good luck, but uh, we'll be back again, and we'll have good luck the next time. So it's Equalizer back from the grave against the grave digger. And speaking of that, Dennis Anderson is with Jim Clark. Are you going to do anything different on your next run because of the track? I don't know. I just need to kind of watch these other trucks go now that i got a little bit of time to, to watch them because I was the first pack out. So I get a chance to watch these guys. I want to see a four-link truck go in the other lane. I've got lane choice, so I can switch lanes tonight. And uh, I'll just have to see what these other guys look like in the other lane over here. All right. Well, congratulations and good luck again. All right. Thanks. Dennis Anderson back in the grave digger against the Equalizer. The Equalizer being played tonight by engine problems. And Dennis Anderson comes from behind and picks up a win. Win number two for the digger. A tough break and a valiant effort on the part of David Morris and the Equalizer. And the crowd loves to see the digger. He just keeps on winning. Now, we weren't sure what to expect from David Morris. You see the puff of smoke. And this is where Dennis really turns it on. The Equalizer just can't keep up with the brand new and hot running Grave Digger. 
And Dennis Anderson, a force to be reckoned with here in Raleigh as he goes on to our championship round. Now, David Morris, remember, he lost to Keystone Cruncher. He didn't even think he was going to come back. He was having some engine problems. Cruncher could not answer the call, and David comes back, gives it his all, and not a bad run. But he's going against the grave digger, after all, and uh, hey, that's a tall order in anybody's book. Here's the Black Stallion Taurus matchup. Mike Botters was having some trouble in Black Stallion earlier with a lot of smoke. Doesn't seem to be having that much problem right now. All right, Michael Batters, driver of Black Stallion. Uh, great run. You're going up against Taurus. Tell us about the last run and uh, any strategy you're going to use up against Taurus. Uh, first blood, he was real tough. I thought he had me there, but uh, Taurus, he's going to be a tough round for me. We're just going to give it everything we got. How about lanes? Uh, are you going to get your choice of lane? And if so, which lane would you prefer? I believe Taurus has lane choice on this next ra uh, race, and uh, I think uh, I think he's I think he's got lane choice. I think he's going to probably stick me on the left lane. What are what's the difference between the lanes here tonight? Uh, they're both pretty equal. Uh, everybody's been favored in the right lane. Well, Michael, everybody's favored in the right lane, and Jackie Wellman and Taurus have lined up in that right lane. Jack Wilman Jr. and Taurus going into the semis up against the Black Stallion. Yeah, uh, we are uh, seem to be working pretty good tonight, and uh, Black Stallion, he's a hard runner, so we're going to have to give it what we got here on this next one. You got your choice of lanes. Uh, where are you headed? I'm going to stay in the right lane. There's definitely a difference on the lanes, and uh, I'm going to stick with that right lane. What is the difference, Jack? Well, the uh, uh, left lane, the first set of cars throws you way up in the air, and uh, that's the whole key is getting over them. So I'm going to stick with the lane I've been running good in, and I feel pretty confident, and I believe I'll, I'll do good. We're set to go. Taurus and Black Stallion side by side. The Ford Black Stallion, the Chevy Taurus. And uh-oh, smoke problems on that second set of cars. For Black Stallion, Jackie Wilman again out horsepowers him. Black Stallion, right when he approached that second set of cars, had a big puff of smoke. He seemed to lose a lot of power. And Jackie Wilman doing what he's done so well tonight, sailing across that second set of cars and into victory. He'll face the Grave Digger in our final. This Jackie Wilman can drive. Over that first set, he said he wanted to take it easy. He pours it on as he approaches the second set, clears them, and comes up with a win against the Black Stallion. So it's a Grave Digger Taurus final here in Raleigh. Meanwhile, it looks like it's back to the shop for Black Stallion. He needs some engine work. That right side still smoking. So he'll go to the shop. And we'll go on to the finals in Raleigh. Now, I guess it's only fitting that Torres and Gravedigger meet in the finals. They were the two fastest qualifiers. And remember, Gravedigger was only two hundredths of a second quicker than Torres back in qualifying. This ought to be a final deluxe. And we'll have it for you in a second when Monster Truck Challenge continues right here on ESPN.